And this might be a little bit cliche, or I might be just for me personally. Mm. You know when you, you said you did touch on about reading the room, mm -hmm. but there was always something in me where I played for myself. And then my job was to get you on my level. Okay. And then I can go ham. That was what I was thinking. And I think, and that's the reason why I was so fascinated with the dub plate thing. Because mm -hmm. the dub plate now is, that's I'm going to spend that. a bag of money yes. on this song and I'm going to present it to you. I, I've got to give you the song on this rhythm. Yeah. And I've got to say, yo, and like, yeah. you're going to love it because I, that's what I created. Yes. And yeah. I think it's the same with music. It's just like certain songs, like, you know, the TOK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I didn't like the song. I just thought it was cheesy and corny. You just like, I just didn't like it. When all the DJs play in the dance bus, I'm like, oh, I survive still. I but I couldn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I could put it across because I just didn't like the song. A gear joke. You see, when um, So Special came out, Mavado, the yeah. very first time I heard that song, I said, that's bullshit. Really? Yes. You see? The very first time I heard that song, I was like, that's bollocks. Listen to what he's saying. I'm so special, so special, so special. What the hell is this? Where has lyricism gone? Remember, you know? Remember, you know? This is that time when Kim and Carter was chopping, you know? Kim and Carter was chopping, so the lyricism, I'm expecting more. I'm like, what's this? Mm. This sounds corny. Fast forward three months, it's running the place, yeah. and actually, I like it now. 